It was on national television in April 2015 that Marine Le Pen first openly declared war against her father, saying that the vulgar provocations of the National Front's honorary president were damaging to both her as leader and to the whole party. Jean-Marie Le Pen should basically show wisdom. He should face the consequences of the troubles that he himself has caused and maybe end his political responsibilities. When the 87-year-old founder of the movement once again referred to the gas chambers of the Holocaust as a, quote, mere detail of history and defended the Nazi collaborationist Marshal Pétain, his daughter said enough was enough, accusing her father of trying to sabotage her by toxifying the National Front, a family death match that somewhat rumbled the party. I share the same belief as Marine, that these remarks have gone too far and are damaging to the image of the party. Everything's fine. Don't worry. The sun is out. Go and have a drink. But of course, everything wasn't fine in the Le Pen household. The following month, Jean-Marie was suspended from the party as its executive committee began proceedings against him. Then in August 2015, the party dealt its final blow, expelling the man who led it for almost four decades. But as he left party HQ, he was still standing proud. As you can see, I still have my head on my shoulders. This Wednesday, Jean-Marie Le Pen is in court for the fourth time since he was kicked out, as he argues that his expulsion violates party procedures. He's also asking for two million euros in damages. But even if he's allowed back in the fold, the battle lines are still drawn. He's already said that he won't be supporting his daughter's presidential bid. And this Tuesday, he even went as far as saying that he preferred Nicolas Sarkozy's political line to hers. Vive la